The war in Afghanistan has been going on so long now that many of the men and women fighting it were still in grade school when it started. The war has receded into the background for many Americans, preoccupied with daily life and caught up in other news, lingering high unemployment, the disaster in the Gulf. But nine years in, this war has now hit a new level of ferocity as U.S. forces meet the Taliban head-on and casualties mount. What are Americans there going through now? An answer to that question tonight from our chief foreign correspondent, Richard Engel, embedded with the 82nd Airborne near Kandahar. And a warning, some of the footage you're about to see may be disturbing for some viewers. Just before dark Saturday, soldiers from the 82nd Airborne Division fight off a Taliban surprise attack on an American outpost in the Argandab Valley. The battle is fierce. 20 Taliban fighters are just 100 yards away. This base has come under heavy attack. Already one soldier has been severely injured. Two more Americans are wounded before the fight is over. They'll all survive. But battles like this one are picking up and taking a toll. On many patrols here, Sergeant Lewis Loftus is the point man. If there's an IED in the ground, he'll most likely see it first or step on it. You got him. 22-year-old Loftus volunteers for the job. I'm thinking about, you know, just getting to where we're going, the safest route possible. I really don't dwell on, you know, this could be my last patrol. The Argandab is among Afghanistan's richest farmland. The dense vegetation provides ample cover for the Taliban to hide IEDs. To avoid them, soldiers stay off the main roads, trudging through humid fields and over walls to keep the Taliban guessing where they're going. Soldiers here say the best defense against IEDs is unpredictability. Watch where you step and never use the same trail twice. Still, troops in this area have suffered 60 injuries, a third of those losing limbs. Back on base, Loftus from Akron, Ohio, looks at photographs of the girl he wants to marry after he goes home in a few months. When I ask him about a fellow soldier killed last week, it's clear how deeply these troops feel about the growing casualties here. Right now, I, I'm kind of numb to it. Like, to be honest, I just don't really feel much. I, 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 I pray for his family. I pray for his soul that, it, you know. Yeah. See, I try not to think about it. Because when you think about it, then I get like this. And it's not, you know, I don't... Ah, yeah. So, yeah, you know, everyone deals with their own way. I try to hide it. I try not to think about it because... I gotta stay a hundred percent. You know, I gotta, I gotta keep a good example in front of the other soldiers. I'm sorry. But when the base was attacked yesterday, emotions are put aside. Loftus fires away on a machine gun, side by side with his unit, still in the fight. Richard Engel, NBC News, Argandale. We'll be right back.